Hello, this is Jay Johnson with Running Times. Uh, this is the second in our series of circuit workouts. You understand that you're either going to run a 300 repeat or a 700 repeat. Then you'll jog 30 meters and then you'll do some exercises. After the exercises, you'll jog 70 meters to the next repeat. This is called the lateral shuffle and it's a little tough to see from this angle, but you want your feet perpendicular to a lane line on the track. So as I come back, you can get a glimpse of how my feet are basically perpendicular to that line. You stay low, basically a 45 degree angle at the knee there. Okay, so then the second exercise is a body squat. You're going to do 20 reps. I am not the best, uh, what do I want to say, I am not the best example of a body squat. I am not the best practitioner of a body squat. But the bottom line is uh, you want your heels on the ground, you want to sit down, and you should have better posture than I have. You shouldn't be as leaned forward as I am in that example. Now this one, we have two challenging exercises, then we always try and have the third and fourth exercise easier. So this is the lateral pedestal. You're going to hold it for 30 seconds. Then you'll go to the other side and hold the lateral pedestal. Um, what you want is a straight line from your shoulder down to your feet, and for the most part, I, I had that. So then you jog 70 meters, do your next repeat of either 300 meters or 700 meters. And, and again, I can't tell you the pace. Could be half marathon pace, could be 5K pace even. Probably won't be 5K pace, by the way. It'll probably be more like 10K or half marathon pace. Pretty self-explanatory here. Front lunge, do 20 of them. You should have good upright posture, and your arms, when you, when you lunge, should be in the same orientation as they are when you run. Okay, Russian hamstrings. I know this one looks a little odd, looks a little silly. Um, you put one foot on top of the other, and you basically thrust your hips up into there. This is the type of thing where once you do it, you'll understand what, how it challenges your, your hamstrings. Now, again, the first two are challenging. Now we're at prone pedestal. You just hold this for 30 seconds. I wouldn't say this is a complete rest exercise, but you do now supine pedestal with your belly button to the sky. That For most of us, that's a little more challenging than prone, but it, both of those are easier than, than the first two exercises. Okay, so now we're into the third set of exercises, and what we're going to do here is mountain climber singles in. When it says 20, that's 20 foot contacts. So left is one, right is two. Now we're going to do uh, mountain climber singles out. Left is one, right is two for 20 reps. Those are pretty challenging. So then what we want to do is give you something that's a little bit easier, and we're going to do 10 push-ups. Now, when I say easier, uh, unfortunately for me, these are not that easy. Again, that's not the greatest uh, push-up posture you've ever seen, but it's decent. Now, the, the, the next one, I think, is an elemental exercise. This is called scorpions. It's great for your lower back, great for your, your butt and the uh, back of your body. You simply have your arms stretched out. You're getting your feet close to your, your hands. Okay, now here's the, the final uh, set of four exercises. This one is challenging. This is called squat thrust. Okay, hands up in the air, kick your feet back. By the way, when you get to the top, we are not jumping. Sometimes you see people jump in these. These are also known as uh, burpees to people who understand football and have, have been in, in a, maybe football practice. This one's tough, running arms. You just want to go, go, go. Now my posture was leaned forward. Now it's more upright. You want upright posture. It's, it's, easy. it's easy to get sloppy with that one because you're trying to, to really go hard. Okay, so you're doing this, this third exercise is lower body crawl. You're basically bringing your knee up to the, the level of, of your hip. Um, this one is not challenging, but to get your knee at the right, right position is challenging. We're going to end this, uh, this second circuit that we're showing you with Australian crawl. Very simple exercise um, from a conceptual standpoint. Just lay on your tummy and basically pretend like you're swimming down the track. All right, folks, I, I hope you enjoy these circuits. They're challenging, but they will definitely help you gain fitness in the summer and winter months. Thanks.